I've got Colleen DeRuck here. Well, how'd you feel about today's race? Oh, it was, a, it was actually a fantastic race out there. There was so much support and American flags flying everywhere. It was just a great run. I didn't feel so good. My hamstrings are killing me. But it was just a wonderful race, yeah. yeah no. How'd you feel about the course out there? Uh, the course was great. It was, uh, I think it was a pretty fast course. The weather was good. Uh, the crowds were pulling you along. I think it was fantastic. It's just a, a wonderful, well-organized race. Now, did you like the slow start when the uh, you guys went out? You know, that probably worked a lot of people's advantage. Yeah, I was surprised. I thought they would go out at least like, you know, 540 the slowest, but I was up 620 per smile. And I was surprised. I thought the bulls would go out faster. Yeah. Well, uh, by the way, who won? What's that? Who won? No. Oh, who won the race? Yeah, uh, the she, she, uh, she, she did. And then uh, Desi, and then uh, it yeah. was Kara Goucher. Oh, Top fantastic. Race. Was Shalane far in front? Yeah, she was about 20 seconds ahead. Okay. Yeah. And Meg like held on. It's been nice coming through for the last lap. The announcer said Meg was leading at 25 Yeah, Bev, Bev won the race. On, on the first of his time. Yeah, PR. Oh, fantastic. So it was Meg, Ryan. Yeah, and then uh, it was Aunt Abby. Oh, great, great, yeah. great. Oh, he said he was ready to go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah wonderful. So, that is an a, awesome team. You got it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, definitely. Yeah, great. Yeah. Colleen, so. I, what do you attribute all this a long career, stay, staying fresh, and you know, what do you attribute such a long career to and, and, and being able to stay in it so long? Um, you know, I, I do take a lot of breaks throughout the year just to refresh mentally and everything. You know, they have such a supportive husband and family and you know, friends and you know, a lot of my friends are runners and so coaching people, personal training clients, so you know, just so involved in it and enjoying it. Now if, if a young distance runner, maybe that just debuted this weekend, what's if you had to give her one piece of advice, what, what would you say to her? I would definitely do a little bit of cross training, not just running, but add strength training. You know, yoga or Pilates or something just to balance out the whole running thing. Now, what's your take on uh, women's American distance running is is getting on a new level right now. Yeah. What, what would you attribute that to? I would say it's all those uh, running groups and clinics around the country where the runners have some support so they don't have to worry about going to race and make money or work part-time. So they can go to their camps and train in, have financial support and just worry about training. You know, and once you're at the camps, you can get your massage and, and treatment and when you're injured, because that's a big part of it, you know, to stay healthy. And I think that's how what it's really contributed to the running. The, the fields are so strong and deep now. It's just amazing and it's just great to see. What's next for you? Um, I don't know. Um, hopefully run some cross country in, in February and see so yeah. yeah. Well, congratulations. Oh, thanks. Thank yeah, you very much.